Alright, a time for a Shivana game. I will be playing against a Volley Bear in this one. Uh, also, this is like... I think the enemy Volley Bear is like Emerald too. So you guys are aware of the uh, elo of this game. So yeah, a Volley Bear is definitely a bit of a problem for me. I need to respect, uh, I need to respect him as a champion right now. Because he is very, very strong early on. And I am not. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. And we're going to just try to full clear, try to keep it like nice and safe in that regard. But obviously, just don't try to fight him as much. Uh, the enemy team is quite tanky here as well, so I'll be going for the bruiserish AP build for Shivana. Uh, you can go burst into full squish, which is pretty good. Even this build I will be going for here is good against squishy targets. But yeah, this build is really, really good against the, the more tanky stuff like this. So that's what I'll be going for. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what is going to go on here. Start with E here because it gives you the extra damage on hit. Like max HP base damage to the monster camp. And we're just going to be smiting this. Leash is okay-ish. that. On this side of the map I like to go for the Q after the E. Just for more hits on this proc right there. And you can easily Q, before, like, just try to Q on your proc as much as possible, but you can also just Q without it, because you lower it quite quickly, as you can see. Hey, if I'm on the other side, I'll definitely take W second, because the W second at that point helps me clear the AoE camps a bit more effectively. Because right here, like, wolves are not too bad to clear with this, but if you don't have your W for, like, the raptors and stuff, that's gonna suck. So, you yeah. know, that is what I'll do there. Oh, like we said there, take the W. Ooh, bot lane with the double kill, I think. I'm gonna wait for my Q here in this case, because I get the uh, auto attack reset with it for this camp. I'm actually gonna have to respect Volley a little bit here, because this is... Oh, there's Garen. Walk into the bush here. That's not ideal. It's a pretty, pretty solid Garen rotation right there, actually. Yeah, that's kind of brutal. Sucks. He doesn't even die. Oh, he does die. Okay. That does suck. Very, very nice play from their mid laner to rotate for that. Getting a double kill is huge for him. Get this down. I might be able to gank top, but probably going to have to be respectful towards Volley. He is going to be going to ward right here, so I'm just going to clear the ward. Clear the ward, and I'm just going to instantly reset over here. The reason I'm resetting is because, again, I don't want to fight the Volley Bear. Like, it's not going to be good for me to fight the Volley at all. So we are going to try to avoid that at all costs. We're just going to go down there, take Bot Scuttle, potentially, and then, like, take the respawnable camps of this. And we'll see afterwards. Katarina's never going to die to that. This volley should be dead for this. I have a double longsword and I have a recall. Get him to stun instantly. Perfect. Well done. Good rotation from Botlin. Thank you very much. I should... I think be able to take this scam from him. Ah, that's gonna suck. I, I can't do this. Uh, I wanted to, but like the wave timing is so awful. The wave timing there is really bad for me. I'm not happy. That's not gonna happen either. Damn it! Oh, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Put the potion. Don't forget. Get arena. Can we get a rotation on this, please? I'm gonna flash for that hit. That's worth it. I needed to be patient there, like I had to be, because I would otherwise die. Well played, Brom. That was a very well played situation from Brom, like kiting that, installing it out. I needed to be on range because otherwise they target focus. Me and Brom is a lot tankier than I am in that situation, and I can turn it at the end when the Katarina eventually shows up. In that specific scenario, it was mostly a Katarina problem, being very very slow on the rotation. Otherwise, that fight would have been won faster, probably without Brom dying as well. But yeah, this is still very, very good, of course. Katarina has 2,000 gold here, nothing to worry about. Uh, I think I'm gonna lose Dragon to Volley Bear here, but that's okay. 
I'll just accept that as, as it is. Is she gonna get that kill? She might. I'm gonna just do this into Void Grubs then, I think. Because he's obviously doing Dragon with the way he just moved. But Lulu is defending him from it as well. Braum just prevented him from getting it, which is nice. Uh, I think I just go for it. Because I believe that with Tom Kench's priority, there's no way Volley should be able to touch me here. Katarina and, Pro uh, uh, and him have a large amount of priority. There is no way this should be legal. Like, Katarina just doesn't recall here for like two seconds and it's free. I know she wants the base, but like, it's just a, a matter of a couple seconds there for me to get it and it's fine. This is very, very good though. I'm not going to be able to contest the scuttle here, however, because the wave is now pushing back towards Tom Kench and Katarina is obviously not here. So we're going to have to respect that scenario and just do Krugs. After Krugs, we'll look to uh, just recall, probably do some of my bot side camps, look for a dragon, something like that. That's going to be ideal. I obviously need to be hitting level 6 here soon enough, so that's something I'm focusing on as well, trying to get one more camp away from that. And yeah... All right, let's get this. I'm going to buy as many things here as I can. He did end up just rushing Dragon. That's interesting. I think he might be on my blue buff in that case. Brom, Giga chatting it. Let's go. One camp away from six, which will be my blue buff. If it was on this and Brom walked for it, he would have died here. The fact that he rushed the Dragon there is actually really bad for him. The reason I'm saying this is bad for him is because he is giving up a tremendous amount of camp tempo for that dragon right there, which is just kind of cost him in the long run. Like, yes, he gets the dragon now, which is a trade for the Void Grub, so I respect that. But because he rushed it, and like me, like after doing Void Grubs and he was just topside as well, he's not really cleared any of this. So all of that's pretty much up and he's delaying himself a tremendous amount of camp tempo. So my, my XP lead is going to like increase significantly based on him doing the dragon there, which is actually quite decent. Obviously, I would have liked to have the dragon, but the opportunities weren't just there for me. So I'm not going to force it too much, even though I am a Shivana. Oh. I'm running as fast as I can. As fast as I can. Get this off. Cue him. I uh, got so bursted, man. That's brutal. Okay, that was a bit too much of a tight situation with the Zaya damage pulling her feathers through me. I think this is still going to be super worth because Katarina gets the cleanup and I get the assists at least. Yeah, it's not too bad. But yeah, the, the, the corridor I was in there was very brutal. However, this is absolutely worth it to me. I don't really mind. I have seven kill participation out of 13. Very happy with that. I don't... I mean, obviously, I would like to get the kills, because I do snowball very, very well. But if Katarina gets the kills, that is not necessarily a problem. The, uh, the tight corridor was definitely a bit of an issue there, though. I probably should have played it a bit slower the way I did. I should have just, like, let with an E, threw the E in, and just let them burn on it for a while, and not get hit by all those Zaya feathers, or go come in from a better angle to not get hit by all those Zaya feathers, because I needed to respect those a little bit more than I did, which was a bit of a problem there. Yeah, I mean, eight kills on Katarina, I cannot complain, you know, it's fine. I have the Void Grubs as well. You know, overall farm is looking good. Nothing wrong here. This is probably just going to be one of those games where, like, I'll do a decent amount, but I'm never going to do enough compared to, obviously, the Katarina, just because I didn't get early kills and stuff like that. I wonder if we could do this. Like, I actually kind of want to invade the guy. That's mine. Thank you very much. We're going for this. He's dead. Perfect. And then we're gonna scout some of these camps. I knew- I know he's just weaker than me, so I can actually just force it, the issue. And the reason I'm forcing it right there is because it, the, both my laners would have priority. So they both would be able to rotate. As long as I ping, they can follow and it's fine. Now I'm just gonna do the scuttle here into the Void Grubs. Um, I'm just gonna ping assist on this so the Braum might rotate for it instead of waiting for that, potentially. I'm gonna try to auto attack as much as possible. Assist ping once again. See if they walk, walk for it. Obviously, he has priority. Mm, this should never be allowed from Volibear to do. 
My Tom Kench is going very, very aggressive, it seems. No, why did you... Oh, that timing is awful, mate. I need to smite that, otherwise Wooly gets it. The fact that he ate him at that moment in time, he loses us this fight because it missed my e. I missed my E because of it. That that chomp was not ideal. She's going to get a double kill. Oh, whoop. Okay, I'll give you a jump. I'll give you, give you a jump. I can't do anything else. No, I missed! Oh, I'm trolling. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even do this now. Um, I got one more. I, I literally lost that fight because I missed my E due to Tom eating him and like my E going through because of it. If I hit that E, that fight is entirely over. That sucks, timing-wise, really, really badly. That's kind of brutal. He gets the last Void Grub, but I guess it's whatever. Gonna have to go bolt side here. This guy's gonna have to be respectful. It's, it's not ideal. Like, it really isn't ideal, but, you know, I can't help it. That's one of those where it's like, if he doesn't eat them, the fight's instantly over. Because with my E damage, I would down one shot, whoever that was. Like, Volley, I believe. And it's just over at that point. I'm just gonna rush Dragon here. I can do Dragon into a bot lane gank, but not bot lane gank first, because I won't have my R form out of it. I don't have my Fury stacked up right now. So it just needs to be a Dragon rush from my side. Might be able to gank afterwards, or just go for Volley's camp on bot side. They did get a big shutdown off the Katarina, the Garen did. I don't have Smite, but I don't think it's gonna matter, because Volley's obviously top side. This is just a free kill. I'm gonna rotate over as fast as I can as well. He Katarina has damage, like there's no way. This should be a free dive. Did they all did they completely back off? They may have done. Okay. I just want to push this turret as fast as I can still with the uh, amount of time we have left for the turret plates. The more turret plates I can just get right now, the better it's going to be. I'll E this so she gets to like clean up the wave a bit. We're just focused turret here. Katarina will rotate down for this. I'll have my R for this as well. Be patient here for a second. Oh, this is not ideal. No, I got silenced at the wrong time there. And this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be fine. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, not too bad actually. That works. Mm, we need to leave. Like, we actually have to leave. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Like, it's not worth it. Don't suicide for this, Katarina. Okay. If she dies there, that would be really bad. She's worth a nine, like 650 gold. That dive is not worth it. The enemy team is not worth that. Not worth her shutdown. I'm just going to clean the rest of these camps up. Keep getting a bunch of assists, but I guess it's fine. What the fuck? I mean, if you want to throw your game away, mate, go for it. Like this is this is definitely one of those plays where you just throw a game away for literally no reason. Like going for a dive there is just like asking to lose. I mean, as that's, I guess that's classic like Emerald Elo, like whatever, man. They get so like greedy in their moves. Like, oh, I'm fed. I'm 14 kills. I'm super super strong. Let's go all the way aggressive and int. You know, that's not the way to do it. Also, from my perspective there as well, by the way, like, I don't have my dragon form for that much longer, so any engaged or extended fight is going to be bad regardless. 
Because you obviously, like, the moment your dragon form ends, you're going to be in a bad spot. I wonder if this kill actually is doing my red buff. That would be an interesting thing to know. Let's pick this up. I wonder if my red's gone, actually, because skill walked this way. If she goes red here, that would be kind of unfortunate. Katarina is, like, really playing super, super aggressive right now. I mean, on one hand she can, but on the other hand, like, that's gonna get her killed for sure. I need to eat that. Hit level 11. W. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'm sorry, but I just, I didn't have the range for that. That's the best it was gonna be. Because, like, Kale could keep hitting me there. My things were on cooldown. It was not gonna be too good. I just need to be patient. Oh, that's that's definitely bad. Can I get into this thing, please? At least. I'm just gonna get my... I'm gonna, like, ignore the turret here and just make my escape. <laughs> this is a bit suspect, but I think my life is worth more than one turret. I don't really care at this point. This might be able to bounce on mid turret or something. We're just gonna let it let it walk through mid lane now, and we're just gonna ignore the Garen and leave. If it doesn't get the bounce, it's fine. Like, my life is worth more than the Rift Herald there. Whew, that was a close one. All right, we get this. I uh, don't have the money for Death Cap just yet. I will go for the Crypt Bloom next, actually. Buy this for now, it's fine. Yeah, big, big kills for Katarina. She is very, very fat. Like, don't get me wrong, it's all good there. She, she has, the, like, the room to play aggressive for sure, but I just don't want her to overdo it and int her shutdown away. Like that bot lane dive, that was way too risky. For me right now, I just focus on the rest of my camps. Make sure I get the dragon when it spawns and just play it out nice and clean, you know. I'll keep the consistency in the team here while my Katarina goes for, like, the, the complete, like, full-on damage, whatever you want to do mode. So we have both in the team. Like, they get the kills, but I get all of the objectives at the same time. Clean up their jungle so Voli never gets to farm again. That type of stuff is what I want to look for right now. If I was the one with more kills, I could play a lot more aggressive. But obviously, I started the game with a bunch of assists, and Katarina got most of those kills. Now, this is the, the, the part that I don't like about this, right? They did an entirely aggressive play, but then they keep going and keep going and keep going. Here, my bad. Like, this is, this is how you throw games. Like, she over aggresses the entire time and she can play aggressive absolutely like please do don't that's not a problem whatsoever you're fat you can do whatever you'd like but don't go too far because if you go too far now she gave another 1000 gold shutdown to the enemy kill if there's any champion that skills very well into the late game it's kill so now this is how you lose games this is how katarina would lose this game if i am not like consistently picking up her slack and with her slack i mean objectives uh, jungle camps from the enemy, you know, that type of business. So th the game is actually, like, nice and clean, if that makes sense. That is the difference. No, this is not the best. I need to stall for Katarina for a little bit. Walk away. There it is. I could try to fight that head-on. The problem with fighting that head-on is uh, I want to play towards the strongest member on my team right now, which is clearly the Katarina. So, if I do that correctly, she didn't even buy anything, she just walked out of base. <laughs> uh, so, if I do that correctly and just don't take a fight without the Katarina, don't over-aggress, which is what I did there. I just threw an E, and I was about to throw another E to, like, make that fight happen, if that makes sense. Like, to, to really hammer that home. Don't try to, like, stick a melee range too long, etc. Uh, then the Katarina shows up and we can have a clean fight. If I try to over-aggress, uh, in that scenario specifically, then I would maybe die before Katarina gets there. I would give my shutdown away, which is also a thousand gold right now, and then the fight wouldn't be clean. So these things are very important. Play for Baron, please. My dragon form is up soon. Top is low. I do kind of want to get that Katarina is just full-on aggressive. I mean, she has the damage for it, I suppose. I'm gonna go for this guy. Good flash, my boy. That's game over. I mean, this is fine. Katarina obviously ends with 28 kills, but with a high amount of risk, for sure. Like, right there, risking this dive again instead of, like, letting them come towards a Baron play would have been more consistent, but she risked a full-on turret dive instead. Which, you know, against the kill ultimate especially, is just extremely risky. 
How do you get a pentakill out of that deal? That's how is that possible? Because I killed this. Ah, whatever. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Uh, so Crypt Bloom here into Death Cap, and then after that it's just a plus one really. It can be any AP item. I'd like to go for like a Banshees usually speaking. But you can go for like Zonias or something like that. Just a nice defensive option usually speaking. You can also, if you want to go more offensive, go like Lich Bane, which is fine. And, uh, or Nashor's even at the very end, but that's that's all good. So yeah, that is it for Shivana. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like button below. I'll spend quite a bit, and I will see you guys in the end game stats. All right, it's time for the second game of this video. Um, I mean, the first one was pretty short, so I will go for a second one here. I will be playing against a Remus on this one. Uh, Remus is like pretty tanky once again. I will be opting for the same Bruiser build. The uh, Squish build here is a bit, a bit greedy, I think. Like he has like a bunch of survivability. Uh, these two are tricky as well, you know. Be stacking quite a bit of HP too, so it's gonna be nice there. I do like that other build quite a bit, to be fair. I'll be going this way. I don't think they'll be sticking around, surely not. I uh, still, by the way, Emerald Elo. This guy is like Emerald three ish, I believe. This one specifically. So yeah. Surely that was already an engage if that was a thing. So we just walk up to it. Start with E once again because obviously the E does additional damage per hit. Tied it down here so my bot lane gets to walk the bot lane at the same time. And we're on the red side now instead of blue as a start. So we're going to smite this one and take W instead of Q. Because the W burn is going to be better for this side for sure. I'll kite the small one around a little bit. Potentially avoid a couple hits, you know, save myself a little bit of HP. We surely didn't take the potion here. I'm going to do this and I'm gonna use the burnout for the rest of these small ones. Walk up to the scuttle and everything, or the raptor, sorry, and everything will basically be back up anyway. Auto attack the group him, drag him backwards, hit the E on everything, and then we just W it out, and it's kind of free. I can walk a little bit, you know, make the raptors walk, move a bit, save myself a tiny bout of HP. Take the Q, have all of your abilities, and we just go top side here. My goal here is just to get the full clear done. Uh, and Shivana needs her levels badly. She is not the fastest at it initially as well, so, you know, it just needs to be done. Ramus will probably be looking for a gank, I would imagine. Generally, Ramus players do go pretty aggressive early. Like, this top lane is looking a bit suspect right now for the Ramus gank. I probably should ping it out. Probably a bit risky here. He does get first blood, that's not bad. I'm not going to use E on this because I'd rather use it on blue for the extra max HP damage. Looks like Ramus is going for a full clear as well. Okay. I mean, this is definitely going to have to be an angle where he needs to be very careful on top lane. Don't particularly want to smite this because I'd rather have the smite for the scuttle, but... going to hit this thing. No Ramus. Interesting. He just warded like over here. Don't get the clear though, I'll just get the scuttle on spawn right now. Which I will just smite. Might be able to hug the wall, go backside mid. She went a little bit early, that is not particularly good. She went too early. She's gonna walk up into Remus, I can't chase that. Like not knowing where Remus is, I just can't risk it. No, my Q didn't... You have got to be kidding me after insta-flash. If my Q went off, she would have died, actually. That would have been her death instantly. But she barely got it. I obviously couldn't chase up because Remus was going to be there. I pretty much knew that for a fact, so I had to respect it. Sucks, though. Definitely sucks, big time. Alright, it's fine. I'm gonna go for the Krugs now. If Lissandra would have just been patient for me to actually be in range, it would have been a free play, but she wasn't... She didn't wait, so that's very troll. A tad bit unfortunate, really. I am gonna have to just walk bolt here, I think, for this. Oh, this dude's dead. I hit that one. Wait, 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 wait. Q, dead. Perfect. No need to rush things. I wonder if I, I can just do this. I'm gonna walk past it. 
very aggressively and then hit the E here. This might be the riskiest dragon on the planet, by the way, but... I haven't seen. I can't do this. Mid lane is losing priority. I, I literally am too greedy for this right now. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. I'm not going to risk that. I could do it quickly, but uh, with that vision thing right there and Ari getting prio off that move, I can't do it. Mm. I'm going to leave my Krugs up for now and just clear my top side, I think. A mid lane has really shot herself in the foot with this game. It's going to be something. He could check that, that would be amazing. No, they're not doing it. Okay, perfect. I will clean up this camp then. I'm assuming Ramus is just going to be bot side. I'm very worried about my mid lane priority right now. Like, going for the dragon or the void gobs is scary with this much priority for the enemy side. So I need to be careful. There is Ramus. I can probably just burst one out real quick. That's what I'm gonna go for. It's going very aggressive. Mid died. That's beautiful. That means I get all the void drops now. Perfect. That's mine. Do I get all the void drops? I highly. St I'm starting to doubt myself on this one now because Aurelian Souls rotating over pretty quickly here. Run away. He gets the last one. It's fine. Two, two is fine, really. I can't over-aggress because Ari is going to come back because she has teleport advantage there. And it's just not too ideal there. I must really send that one. That's just fine. Uh, let's go for this thing here, obviously. Take all of this. I will hit six off of one camp. I'm going to walk out of base, do red and gank bolt most likely, and try to force the dragon that way. I will be able to kill mid lane, but only with Lissandra ultimate, and the bot lane is currently shoving in, so I'm gonna do this and that. Ping it out, so they know what I'm gonna plan. But I need to get my red buff first, because otherwise I will not be 6, and not having uh, Shivana ult for this is gonna be really bad for a gank. I'm just gonna... I need to respect it, I need to walk all the way around or something, do this, maybe. There's other wards, there's a Ari going this way. That's not a Lissandra E, really? Alright, fine. I'm gonna do two more camps then. I'm just gonna have to stall a bit. Heal myself back. Ramus has all the freedom in the world with his priority. It's really nice for him. I have to, like, I can't do Dragon or I have to respect everything pretty much. I guess my plan is just clear this camp. Oh, Ari's going to be bolt. That's a pretty good one. Oh, I missed that one too. Ah, oh, damn it. It's good rotation from them. I'm gonna just clear the wave so they absolutely cannot dive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Ari is making my life very difficult right now. Is he going for dragon? He might do. This is gonna give me my smite upgrade at least. Relatively annoying at the moment, but, you know, hope it's going to be fine. I think I'm just going to walk up to it. I think I could just do it if he does isn't doing it right now. Because at this... Okay, this is just control warded. Lovely stuff. I have to go mid lane. Does this, is this a kill? This might be a kill. I think the Sandra gets the guy. Doesn't? It does. Okay, good. We just dragon then. That's free. That's good. Thank you, Lissandra. That kill is very nice. Just focus it down now. There's no way they can com compete on this one. Bit of a tricky early game so far. Smite that out. Perfect. I will be going here. Just gonna E. That is kind of unfortunate, really. That's a good flash and everything. I'm just gonna push bot wave in, I think. Throw the E on the two of them because it's gonna do more impact on the damage. Um, I don't know. Like for that fight specifically, that E is definitely more impactful than the other one, but like on Ramus specifically, but I, we couldn't kill them anyway. 
I'm gonna have to reset here, play for topside. The pickaxe. Still don't get to finish my item, sadly. That could have been nice, but... I do want these void grubs, if possible. He has Zack Pass, if that's a good kill. We like it. Oh, Jinx Rocket down. Okay. Hmm. Ah, my Lulu is 0 and 4. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? That's kind of rough. I need to do some camps here, by the way, to get my Dragon Form back before I do anything else. This is a high priority. Without Dragon Form, I'm much weaker, so I need to get my camps cleared. Get some auto attacks in there. I want to play for these Void Grubs for sure. So that's something I'm looking for. Could do mid lane gank as well. I might actually do blue into a mid gank here because Lissandra has ult and it's just a dead Ario for mid gank. But I can also just go at top, I guess. That's fine. No, oh, but... I'm just going to put a sad face. Uh, I would like to get some kills. That could be nice, but it's fine. Throw these together. And we're just going to burst this camp out as fast as possible, really. Should be very quick. I think this should be fine. I can hold on to my R here. That's one kill. I'm not going to overchase for Ari right now because I want to finish the last Void Grub here too. Lissandra gets her. Beautiful. Very well played. That was good play by Zek, like uh, uh, eing out of vision. Like he made sure to stand over here and like e out of vision towards the play, which was very smart. Because then he can like go, go into the play, defend me from that angle and get a nice like surprise E on him instead of being on top of me. Uh, helping me clear would not have been better due to the surprise factor of like making that more safe, if that makes sense. I can buy this in Sorks, which is nice. I'll do that. Beautiful stuff. This is where I start. Like, the moment you finish that item, the moment you finish Spear, is when the moment you start getting very strong. Like, right now, I'm going to be very, very strong here. Got the Void Grubs. I'm 92 against 67 CS, so I'm, like, taking a significant lead there. My Lissandra has turned her, uh, turned her life around this game. <laughs> Starting to do pretty well now. Nothing to complain about there. Just a bit of a rough early game because of uh, the uh, situation there, right? Where she kind of Sudoku'd herself. Mm, 14 seconds. I can't commit with her ult up. So she just has to wait a little bit. I want to communicate that, like, clearly as well, though. Clear this, and then I'll go mid. This is going to be a free double kill for me. If he's fighting me in my thing, that's really bad for him. That's really, really greedy from Lissandra just now. Th these are the types of plays I don't like to see, where players just... Um, oh. Should not be a problem, I'll just flash respectfully. Those types of plays right there, I pretty much would have killed the Ramus regardless. There was no way he could ever beat me, but Lissandra turned around and Sudoku'd. Uh, like, if you are out, you are out. If you don't have the HP to go back in, don't go back in type of deal, you know? It's very, very risky for no reason. Dragon's in 35 seconds. I do want to play for that, but I can take the Rift Herald before that, most likely. So I'm going to probably sprint rush the Rift, uh, the Rift Herald right now and just do a Dragon right after. If that is doable, I don't know if that's actually doable due to mid lane priority right now. If I have vision over Rift Herald and I die before the dragon spawns, that would not be good. So I'm probably gonna have to just respect it for now. No, no, they didn't. They need to drop turret. That's a good TP. I don't know, don't know if it's gonna work, but it's a good TP. It does work. Very, very good TP even. I'm gonna have to move down there, yeah. That's gonna be a Zac TP. I guess I'll take the time to shove midwave in then. That's double TP to bot. I just need to shove mid turret right now, I think. Just get this turret out of the way. We can do dragon afterwards, but this is just a free mid turret, I believe. Because of the like the map state right now. Okay. Just respect Ari. Just do the dragon. Ari rotated back for it, so it's fine. 
Just make sure we focus Dragon, that's all I have to do here. Take it out. Good thing. Nope, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's too risky. Uh, my Jinx has no mana, my Lissandra has 20% HP, I just have to respect it there, back away. The, the, the thing there was a little awkward, because they went for that like bolt dive situation while I ran back towards top lane to try to like do a Rift Herald potentially into the Dragon. Uh, but obviously the dive time was not too, too good, but my team fixed it with two teleports, so that was not too bad. It's good use of two teleports, to be honest. Nice. Good job. That is exactly what I wanted him to do. Just engage, use ult. I'll close my, uh, use the distance for my R to close that, and then we can, I'm gonna smite it, it's fine. Uh, I have obviously used smite for this, yes, but I don't think he's gonna be able to smite the Rift Herald anyway, because they have a dead mid laner, he can't contest. Uh, so if he does get this somehow, that would be bad on my end, I guess, but I think it's worth it. Oh, he does get it, damn sucks. Okay, fine. I didn't think he'd suicide for it. Or he gets the suicide for it, even. Okay, yeah, it's my bad for smiting Scuttle, then. I didn't think he was going to be able to contest that. I didn't think he would, but he did. So, that's why I smited the one thing I thought I was going to be... That, that I thought he was going to contest just the Scuttle, and not the Rift Herald, but he just full-on suicided for the Rift Herald. Which I guess is a fair choice. It's just something I didn't expect him to do in that scenario. And that's why I smited the way I did. <laughs> it's literally the most disgusting gank on the planet, man. <laughs> Every single time he just locks him down and I just burst him out for the added damage that Lissandra just doesn't have in the moment. That is absolutely disgusting. Oh god. Oh, my dragon form's gonna time out. This is not ideal. I can do one E, I think. Just push the wave, I guess, for a bit. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll claim one wave here while Lissandra back so we don't lose the turret outright right now. I don't think he's gonna walk up for this, but I do also have to back because I have quite a bit of money. I'm gonna be taking my reset here as well. Out of base, I can do my bot side camps. Lissandra ult will be back up. I might be able to kill Ari again. This into wait this thing. I'll buy two of them, sure. Do my bolt side cams, get my dragon form back, and then we'll go proactive again on the map. Lissandra well, is getting a large amount of kills off of this Ari with her ult, which is good. I don't know if she has the one shot damage on Ari by herself, but I can just do this bolt camp into the Ari gank because I have my dragon form back now. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Not too bad. Let's walk aggressive. Check out all of his bolt side camps now. Team is winning those. Good. <laughs> the way this Ari keeps repeat dying to this is actually kind of sad for him. Oh god. That's a good use of a Rifter, although I'll admit. That is very solid. Goodbye. Just get him in his path with the E and he dies. I don't get mid turret, that's good. I am extremely strong now as well. Like, very, very strong. 162 and 50 CS up on the Ramus. Two dragons. Five Void Grass, because obviously the sixth one I wasn't able to get. Currently, I'm not looking to play aggressive with my team at the moment, because I really need to get my dragon form back before I do. So this camp should pretty much give that to me, I think. That's close enough. Now we're going to move. My team probably wins that one, though, but that's fine. Having my dragon form back at all times is going to be better for me. Okay, they do let him get away, sadly. Does he have Ari ult? Does. Does it matter? I don't know. I mean, obviously don't get the kill off of it, but... He walked into the... Okay, he's just gonna die now. I need to be careful not to tank the turret too much. I can tank, like, a shot there, but I need to not do overdo it. I'll throw one E in that direction, so if they have to walk for it, they have to walk through my E at the very least. That's the last E I'm probably going to get. Do this. 
maybe do a bit of damage with that, but it's not going to be much. I have nothing left right now. I need to let my dragon form time out and then finish the camp. This fight is up to them. They either win it or lose it, but I have no more dragon form, so I can't do this. Uh, Lissandra's very strong, so I guess it's fine, but I have to finish Drake. I can't fight them on mid. I have no dragon form. It'd be too risky. The best thing I can currently just do is clean up their bot side camps and do dragon. So that, I'm just going to do the best thing I can do for my team right now. Get that objective cleared out. And uh, yeah, move on from there. It's, it's too aggressive to dive turrets in that way that uh, my team just committed to. Like, I can't really follow that too well. It's just not going to be too ideal. I would like to get this in a bolt wave. It might be a bit greedy, but I want to get my crypt loom before I back. If I can do that, that would be great. Which I should be able to do with like this bolt wave and maybe one more. Yeah, this, this definitely gives me a crypt loom. That's good. That's a big purchase right there. Okay, good. Everything on both sides is cleared, including Dragon. So now we're just going to go topside, play for Baron. I'll buy one Control Ward right now, because we're playing for Baron. Two hundred and four compared to 126. I'm very far ahead right now. I do kind of want to get my uh, Lissandra the blue buff before I play anything else here. So I'm going to just look for this at level 15. Lissandra has TP. She wanna, wants to play Clip Push, but that's going to be very slow. I don't think I get to do Gromp here, actually. That would be too greedy. They should run now. Oh, that's a Jin. I don't have to ult just yet. I can be a bit patient with it. Go for that guy because he was the free kill. Walk back a little bit. Please play relatively safe. Throw an E that he's that dead as well. It's large damage and we just Baron. Nice. Don't like what I'm doing there is I'm not ulting too early. Um, I could have ult. Oh, they, they have that. Okay, cool. Uh, last items here would have been Death Cap and then like Zonias or Banshees. Probably a Banshees against this team would have been better, so I would have ended up doing something like that, and that would have been full build. But yeah, what I did in that last fight is just made sure to like play on distance enough to the point where I see an opening and I can ult for the Jin on the side because he is going to obviously be a primary target and then finish out the fight that way. Uh, but yeah, that's up. That's it for both games. I hope you guys have enjoyed these games, these videos. Uh, if you did, make sure the like button below it helps me out quite a bit. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here for game number one, uh, obviously <laughs> I did 15k damage, which is a respectable amount, but obviously Katarina had the 42.6, uh, which unsurprising, right? Like she got all the kills early game and she really pushed some some serious plays for damage. So that's expected. Uh, true damage, 700. We have objective damage though at 43.7. This is like the big thing here. Katarina went for all that damage and I just made sure to make the, the rest of the game as clean as possible. Uh, like obviously winning some fights myself. It's worth a thousand gold shut down at the end there too, but just make sure I get the objectives, you know, try to pick up whatever I can to, when Katarina dies, not lose everything to the enemy team in return. Um, so, you know, that's a factor there. A healing done, 14.2. A damage taken at 25.3. We have self-mitigated at another 16.4. Gold earned at 10.8k, which is a very, very good amount of gold, but obviously Katarina has 16k. This is a lot more. I believe, yeah, her CS wasn't too good, but if you have 29 kills, you're obviously just going to get a large amount of gold anyway, so it doesn't really matter then, does it? Uh, press the attack for 652 damage. The reason I'm taking press the attack, by the way, over like Dark Harvest or anything like that, is because it just makes those early game fights better. You're relatively weak early on, and the press the attack damage can inch out a bunch of wins, um, so it's going to be quite good for that. Uh, additionally, it obviously adds just good burst potential as well, because it's just auto attack Q when you get the press the attack proc. For Shivana, which is pretty easy. A triumph for a bit of HP, a bit of gold, tenacity, CC reduction, could have graph for a little bit of bonus damage here, but obviously in this game, like I wasn't in a lot of these fights because Katarina was hard forcing them and I was just cleaning up things up. So obviously my damage on all of these is going to be a bit lower. 
uh, treasure hunter for the gold tempo and then yeah eyeball collection for some extra stats then for game number two here i ended up doing 16.6k damage which is the second highest Alessandra uh, did more which is not surprising uh, she picked up pretty much all the kills out of the ganks we went for so gets her a good amount of gold she came back into the game and she has very good team fight damage as a champion those passive explosions are pretty significant so that's definitely not bad uh, we have true damage here 340 nothing much uh, objective damage at 44.6k this is a big one we're here once again right like on the, as in game one i just have very very high objective damage on shivana she's good at doing them uh, just control them as much as you can is always a very consistent and solid thing to do obviously went for a large amount of ganks everything every single time lissandra had ult i just go mid and just kill the ari etc but yeah objective control is big uh, healing done 14.2 obviously zach has more damage taken at 25.2 which is the most Self-mitigated, another 16.3. Gold earned at 11.7k, which is actually significantly the most. Uh, the good, the, the reason that is that far ahead is because I have 212 CS at 21, uh, 22 minutes, sorry, 23 minutes, I guess. I'm level 15. I'm, yeah, three levels higher than Remus, almost 100 CS up on him. Just that consistent farming speed, making sure to like really sequence those things and always try to fall back towards getting your dragon form and stuff will get you a large amount of CS. And yeah, obviously, you know, did very well there if this game would have dragged on from this point forward my team fight damage would have absolutely skyrocketed because i would just delete their entire enemy team at this point shivana hits like two items with uh, spear and leandris or if you're going to go for the burst build and you hit nashers potentially magi's death cap situation uh, then you know damage on this champ goes through the roof so there is that uh, for the runes here press the attack dealt a thousand damage for a 23 minute game that's pretty reasonable and uh, definitely not too bad we have Triumph for a bit of HP, a bit of gold, Tenacity CC reduction. We have Coup de Gras for a bit of additional damage there. And then again, Treasure Hunter for the gold tempo. So you get into your first item quicker, which gives you just a better, uh, faster early game, I guess. A, a shorter early game, maybe, is the way I should put it. Because it gives you your first item. And in this build setup specifically, finishing Spear of Shojin is very significant. Because uh, that's when you start to get strong. With Up until that point, you're pretty weak. If you're going to go for the other build, obviously Nash assists that item instead of the uh, Spear of Shojin. But, you know, that, that's just a trade-off. Then Nash just makes you pretty pretty damn strong as well. Uh, so you kind of want to rush into it. And that's why I like this. And the press, press the attack is just to not have a very shitty early game. Because Shivana is not a particularly good early game champion. So that helps quite a bit in winning some of those fights which can allow you to snowball, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, that is it for Shivana. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like button below. I also make quite a bit. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.